Hey everybody, this is Jason with KMP Tackle Defense. We're going to do another center coat video here for you guys. This is going to be a three color woodland camo grayscale paint job. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with the base coat. We're going to be doing a mixture of sniper gray with Smith & Wesson gray. It's a 75% Smith & Wesson to 25% um, sniper gray just to give it a little bit darker for the base coat. And then once we get this laid down and cured, we're gonna come back and start laying some stencil. Okay, so now that our base coat is cured, we're gonna go ahead and start laying down our stencils onto our project here on the slide. So you're just gonna go ahead and grab one of your stencils. You're gonna start randomly placing them down on the slide. Now when you're doing these, you have to kind of think backwards as to what is going to be staying here. So the first coat that you lay down is going to be the part, the least amount of paint that you see. So you're going to be putting on your stencils in smaller quantities on this first run, run of colors. So once you go ahead, lay them down, you're going to start randomly placing them all around. The slide. Once you get the amount of stencils down that you're happy with, then we're going to go ahead and get ready and mix up the second color and uh, let's get to painting. Once you get them painted, you're going to want to go ahead and lay them down, let them gas out, get any of the gases out of the paint out. Usually let it sit for about 10 minutes, throw them in the oven, and then we'll come on back and do the next layer of stencils. Okay, so we're back, and we're going to go ahead and start doing the second set of stencils on here. So what you want to kind of do now is you're going to go a little bit larger on these stencils and you're going to just start overlapping. Some can overlap, some can be non. Just kind of same type of thing. Start doing the randomized patterns and start filling these up until you get to the look that you want to achieve. So let's get these on and then we'll come on back.
So once you get the level of stencils that you're happy with, let's take it to the paint. So again, once you get a good even coat, go ahead and let it sit and gas out for about 10 minutes, throw it in the oven, and when we're done, we'll take off the stencils and see what we got. So now that it's all done and out of final cure, we do the last step, which is the fun step. We remove the stencils and see what it looks like. When you're doing this, just be careful not to gouge in and scratch up all the work that you just got done doing. And there you have it. Your finished three color camo. We hope you guys liked this video and you learned something from it. If you did, please comment, like, and follow us on Instagram and on Facebook at KP Tac Defense. It's right here. And if you need anything else, let us know in the comments and we'll go ahead and get that video done for you as well.